morning, everyone. Captain Chris here with the Speckled Truth. Want to do a video series on each of the jerk baits that I have in my arsenal, why I throw them, and why they're effective here, especially along the Texas coast. Uh, the first here is the one I have the majority of confidence in, and that is the Rapala Shadow Rap Shad. I love the fishability of this bait, especially here, because it fishes much shallower than uh, maybe some of the other traditional jerk baits that I have, especially in my arsenal. I'll talk more about those as we continue through this series, but uh, it's rated on the package three to four feet. So right here, three to four feet is the actual package rating, um, but it really fishes, I think, two and a half feet almost perfectly. Now you can change that and you can fish it deeper uh, or shallower for that matter, depending on your terminal tackle and especially um, what and how you're actually uh, fishing the bait in terms of your rod angle and, and, and things along those lines. But if you use, I use a, a, a pure mono seagull, I use 20 pound seagull senshi monofilament leader. And the reason for that is I want to keep that bait up as high as possible in the column itself. Now, this is a slow rising, as, the, as really most of the jerk baits I have in my arsenal, it is a slow rising. And I'll talk about through as we progress through that why those are important and i also have some that are suspending and it depends on what the fish want that day but for this one uh, that slow rising especially with that bait profile uh, it's perfect so i think this is about a foot uh, it's really like a foot a second per foot in terms of its ascent uh, rate and ascent speed so that's actually pretty quick believe it or not but still slow enough it's about the same as like a mirror lure, Texas Custom Lures Double D, but as you twitch it, it gets much deeper in the column. Now when it's ascending, it's head up just like that, and it's ascending through that column pretty quickly. Now, another thing that I do is I change the hooks. It's almost paramount, paramount to change the hooks as they come out the package. So in this particular one, it's still in the actual package itself. Let me get it out of here. The light wire VMC hooks that they have on the uh, on the bait itself are, are really really light wire, and so I've actually had a lot of hooks bend out, and so I change them. I get a I got a good pair of split ring pliers, and I get the it's like the Pro Pack. What it's twenty three hooks in a pack, but these are the number this is the number fours. So I change on the shadow wrap shads. I change the hooks with the number fours, vice the number sixes that I use for like shadow wraps uh, and other jerk baits that I have in the arsenal. But for the shadow wrap shads, definitely the number four uh, is what I use. And I go to a heavier um, gauge hook, especially with the ST36 from owner. But what it doesn't do is it doesn't change the actual, um, it doesn't change the ascent rate um, of the bait or the ascent profile so it doesn't you know bring it down or it doesn't slow it down it actually just keeps it pretty much about the same so in terms of a great complement to those I, I think the st36 is the best but this bait again super effective throwing it over grass shell uh, mud whatever you're you're fishing as long as those fish are actually pretty skinny and you want to give them something that they're looking at a little bit longer in the actual column uh, consider it I mean I know a lot of people don't necessarily throw a lot of lip jerk baits here along the Texas coast but I know across other parts of the country you do and there's reason for that is because it allows you to fish the column that much slower so uh, again just add it to your arsenal see what happens but I will say the one kryptonite to these baits is floating grass, especially here along the Texas coast. So if you're fishing or the opportunity presents itself to where uh, floating grass isn't present or it isn't dominant uh, in that weight or in that estuary or wherever you're fishing, then serious, seriously consider uh, throwing this bait. It's a great compliment to a corky because it ascends versus descends and it has really about the same descent and ascent profile or I'm sorry, rate. Um, and profile for that matter. So add this to your arsenal. Great baits. Man, I love them. Uh, I like more the natural colors than anything, but this, it's Haymaker is the color that I find to be just the absolute best. But a lot of the, like the Halloween, 
all of them pretty much get eaten up. So hopefully this was helpful. Until next time, guys, tight lines. God bless. Take what you need. Release the rest.